It's a new day. We just weird cartoon characters now, so we uh, wear the I'm same Pepper clothes. That's my girl. Ooh, I would be Patty Mayonnaise. I she liked was, her. She was good. You know, she wasn't even black. You know, all, I, all they were all black. I assume, but like the voice lady is the lady from Orange Is New Black. Which lady? The lady from the, the crazy lady, the skinny blonde lady with the um. Get out of town. That's Patty Mayonnaise. She's still black. Did you watch the nickel? This is totally off topic. Did you watch? You asked like, me about this. You about to ask me about this Nickelodeon documentary? No. We watched it together. No, we didn't. At my home. Yes, we did. Oh, we did. Girl, you done pissed me off. This is the third time that you've asked me, have I seen this documentary? But it makes me happy. We watched it on my TV. I mean, I, not for the first time. I made you watch it then, but I had already seen it because I was trying to share things. You know what? Don't worry about it. No, no, go on. No, 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 no. Make your point. I'm not sharing shit no, no, with ma- you. Make no, make your no, point. Because you're ungrateful. No, I'm not ungrateful. I'm just saying you keep asking me have I seen it and I you saw me see it. I to say that the Doug creator talked about pick finding Patty Mayonnaise in a commercial. He heard her voice. Yes. Like, this is I remember from when I saw it. Fuck you. Okay. We're going to move uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. You know, this is, again, we're trying to record while we can in advance. And I don't have a joke of the week because we don't know what this week is going to bring. But I'm sure it's going to have to do with niggas. So niggas are the joke of the week. That's just an evergreen me. joke of the week. That is an evergreen a joke. Of the week. Me if you're a nigga you listen to this podcast, I don't know what you did, but you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Just whatever you got going on, be ashamed. Yeah, like crazy. why would you do that to that girl? Why would you do that to that that girl? And them kids. I'm sure it's some kids involved. Yeah. So yeah. honestly, whoever did, mm-hmm. fuck you. Yeah. Hypothetically, um, and I hope she leave for you. Shitting on my documentary and my I'm happiness. I'm not shitting on your doc. I enjoy when you bring things to me. I like the Tu Wong Fu movie. That was fun. And I had a good time. Culture. Yeah. But don't ask me if I saw the documentary no more. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Um, but yes, we are talking about marriage today. We're about like marriage uh, this week. Uh. I feel like it's interesting because, you know, like, we're in the age where, like, it's a thing. Mm-hmm. People our age are getting married. Mm-hmm. And that's just like... Some of y'all ain't got no business standing at nobody altar. And, you know, that's one of the bullet points. It's just so mm-hmm. many moving parts to it. So, like, okay. So what was your idea of marriage growing up? I don't... I didn't see a successful marriage until I was grown. Okay. For real. Everyone that I knew that was married was unhappy. And my parents have never been married. My parents have never been in love that I know of in front of my face. Mm-hmm. So I never even came up with the idea that like, oh, mommy and daddy love each other. No, mommy and daddy are body, body slamming each other like in the front yard. So I... I shouldn't laugh at that. No, it's, it's not funny. And the therapist was like, please stop joking about that in here. You're making me <laughs> uncomfortable. And I'm like, I saw it. Like, <laughs> it happened. Uh, and that's, that's funny. Your parents shouldn't be body slamming each other. They shouldn't. What, what were they actually body slamming? Oh, doing? no. They was getting down WWE style in my grandma's front yard. So this is what happened. And I only learned recently why it happened the way that it happened. So well, this is when we was living in Detroit. I was living with my mother and my grandma. No, I was living with my grandmother and my father at my grandmother's house. And my mom, I guess, it was my dad's night. And she was like, hey, when I pick Jasmine up, can you make sure she puts some clothes on before she falls asleep? So we don't have to wake her up to put clothes on her so it's so cold because it's so cold outside. And so he's like, yeah, you know how niggas do. Like, yeah, yeah okay. you know, whatever. And then don't do it. So she came to get me. And then my mom had had a new boyfriend at the time. So my dad was already upset and like being petty because he's a lunatic. And um, my mom comes to get me and I'm in pajamas still. So she's furious. She's like, I fucking asked you to put clothes on my goddamn baby. And I was a very difficult child to wake up. So it's like, go ahead. This just made me think of something. Cause so it's like different like things that mothers get upset when they think to do. Like obviously mm-hmm. because men are useless. But mm-hmm. other than that, like I was reading. Okay, this is gonna be old news by the time this comes out. But mm-hmm. did you see Sarah Walker's post about London on track being not worth it? In? Yes. And she was like sending me a picture of where she's sleeping tonight. I never thought about like that's some real shit to ask. Where's my fucking child sleeping? Where is my baby and who is over there? Like who is over? 
of them. That, see, that's why I could, the Lord didn't make me a baby mama because yeah. who's the bitch around my baby? Why does my baby, baby and where smell like she, love spell? Where is she sleeping? Because that's some real shit to ask. Where is my fucking baby sleeping? Because where is she in the fucking refrigerator bin? Where's my child? London. That's some real shit. I, I no, because where is she sleeping? Where is Bubble sleeping? Right. But that's why I always say that the Lord did not allow me to be a baby mama because everybody would have been having a hard time. The baby daddy, myself, the kid. It would have been fun. Um, anyway, so my mom is complaining about him not getting me dressed. And my mother only recently told me, maybe like a couple months ago, that he said under his breath, I hope Jasmine don't turn out to be a bitch like you. Oh, no. And no, no. so <laughs> she says she calmly... Got my shit. He got me and put me in the car. And she said she was plotting from the moment he said it to the moment <laughs> that he put me in the back seat. So my dad was bald headed at the time. And this is a cold Detroit winter. This is right around my birthday. This is right around this time in Detroit. This is why he should have some fucking clothes on me. So he leans to put me in the car seat. And they have very different accounts of this story. But they both agreed that he didn't even get me click clacked in good. And she just started me, 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 <laughs> punching this nigga in the back of the head. And I vividly remember my dad going, oh, oh, <laughs> this bitch is hitting me. <laughs> How old were you? Like four? I was maybe like four or five. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh, bitch. Bitch. And so he's like trying to get his fucking bearings together and like get out of the car. She's like fucking kicking him in his back and shit. And he fucking like scoops her up and like dumps her ass and like drops her in the front yard. And I'm in the seat like, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Enough when the little girl was like fed up. She's like, mommy, I'm really scared. <laughs> She was like, my parents were fucking, <laughs> fucking crazy. So I'm just like, and my, my mom is like screaming for my grandma. She's like, Sarah, he hit me. He hit me. And my dad was like, you seen this bitch punching me in the back of the head. And I'm just like, well, I've got my animal crackers. I'm four. So. I've got my blanket. And um, you guys work this <laughs> I out. I have my So cup. that was my first view of relationships. Very volatile, very angry, very, I don't even really fuck with you for real. Okay. Um, and then a couple of old people I knew was married, but they weren't happy. Um, only successful marriage I know right now is my cousin Darcy and her husband Mac. Shout out to y'all. That's the only really happy couple that I know, like married wise. Damn. Yeah. And I've been alive for almost 30 years. Well, for me. Um, for no, go on. Don't feel bad about what I've seen. You know, I'm just saying, you yeah. know, I, my parents were together. They were married for 13 years before I was even born. Um, my parents were just married, you know. So by the time they had me, it was just like, all right, I'm gonna knock this other kid out. Boom, boom. They mm -hmm. they were old, so it wasn't like I, my parents weren't. I think that's why I like looked up to the Huxtables because their like they were old, but they were still like, hmm. mm -hmm. obviously they're both demons. But that's mm -hmm. neither here nor there. Yeah. Um, because my parents were like, like that. But also, but my, shout out to their acting. They're awful. I mean, but y'all are doing some acting. They, that are was a good fucking life. show. Yeah. Like Bill Cosby can rotten hell but that was a good television program mm -hmm. um but yeah my parents were like <laughs> you know married you mm -hmm. know they they had children they married they did you know i never mm -hmm. seen, i never saw them argue so when they did argue i'm like oh they're getting divorced i'm gonna drink bleach <laughs> like because they didn't argue my mom was not affectionate but she's very calm mm -hmm. again my parents don't like my dad yelled but like a dad yell mm -hmm. like, 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 like he hit his foot like that's how my dad yelled so it wasn't like you know so, you know, I grew up with, you know, my parents, my uncle, my uncle, they got divorced and that fucked me up. That I remember you up. telling me that. Yeah, that mm -hmm. fucked me up. I was like, a, well, the like demise started when I was 11 and mm -hmm. I was just like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And then they didn't like divorce worse. I was like 15, but it's still like. It's a long time to be trying to get rid of somebody. Yeah, it was like, they were trying to work it out, but then they were just like, you know what, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you know, that fucked me up. Uh, well, I mean, I, most of the adults in my life are married. Mm. Only like I have a fun single auntie. Mm. Now my oldest auntie and Clyde, they were never married. They've never been married. Mm. They're more common law, mm. but but she just don't want to. Mm. So that's why they're not married. Good Perfect. for her. She's been like around my entire life. He just Clyde. Mm. Good for her. My great granny, um, rest her soul. Um, her last paramour, her last man. Um, they never got married. And I think she loved him the most. She died on my birthday when I was 22. Mm. And then he died like the next day. Like a full 24 hours didn't it's pass. Yeah, full. Like when he found out she died, he was like, it was almost like he was like, bet. I'm gonna go. And then he died. And I was Her, like, because if, because huh. he was like, oh, you old and I died, you didn't, you didn't die soon. If I die and then if my nigga I'm don't die right behind me, if I'm 
I'm having so you wanted to be with these bitches. So you want to It was bitches. With them hoes. That's that's who you want to fuck? That's who you want to fuck? That's who you like? Oh, the oh, living that, bitch. Yeah, oh, so you don't come up in heaven with me and be with me? Oh, okay. Fuck you. You don't miss me. You know we need help, right? I'm haunting everybody to so make sure that y'all are crying accurately when I go. Mm-hmm. If I'm a ghost and my nigga is still alive, I, he ain't never gonna fuck nobody else because I'm gonna be sitting right up on the young There's a movie about that. Isn't that the Reese Witherspoon movie? What's the yeah. movie? Because cause she was like, mm-hmm. oh, all right. Mm-hmm. I'm Love. Be, I'm being in the corner like this. It she ain't even cute for real. I'm, I'm slamming doors. I can't stop. I'm so glad I didn't send you that joke this morning. I had the video locked and loaded. Where Colum- you- Columbus Shore was like, oh, <laughs> from Stumpy. <laughs> you would have been so mad. Oh my god. Honestly, I did think he was about to really shake some shit up last night when I fell asleep. Cause honestly, the lights went out, mm. and I'm like, oh no. He knows. He do know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, I have a joke about my daddy haunting me if he finds what I hunched in his house. <coughs> and I kind of wanted to just test it out. And then all the lights went out in our neighborhood. So. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, but yes. My so. dad would be the worst ghost. I'm so glad that nigga's still alive. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. He would be so upset. <laughs> Mm, okay, anyway. Okay, have you seen Bebe's kids? I feel like, if, if I'm over seven, please beat my ass. Mm-hmm. But like, <laughs> have you seen Bebe's kids? Mm-hmm. The, I, <laughs> when this nigga funeral talking shit about you, I feel like he would show up. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know exactly what you're talking about. But <laughs> you don't? I don't. But you I have never seen Bebe's kids. I've seen Bebe's kids. When they had the funeral and they playing cards at the table and it's like Red Fox and like John with the spoon and all the voices at the card table. And like, thank God that nigga Walter is dead. <laughs> and Walter comes back to life or some shit? No, I'm saying that situation. Like, I'm talking shit like, by him being dead and he's gonna be like, what was said? Yeah, no, that's that's on brand for that nigga, man. Oh, man. Oh, you gotta man. watch Bebe's kids. Please, that's your homework. Okay. Uh, anyway. Oh, never, you know what? Don't worry. No, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Girl, like, is we into it? Like, is we into, is it? We into it? Um, let's talk about marriage goals. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't have marriage goals. I don't have any marriage goals. You like a couple on Instagram, like, oh my God, and then two weeks later, this nigga cheated on this bitch with everybody in the world, and he beat her in the forehead. Right. And like, like God, damn. Fuck. I don't have any marriage goals because to, I think to be partnered with me for life is, first of all, not super possible for really anybody. <laughs> and then also just like, I've seen people's marriages. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a very like, I'm, I don't think I, I'm a cynic about it, but it's just like, you can't look at any person's relationship and be like, that means that whatever relationship you're building is not genuine. If you're looking at- Cause you just wanna be like- Cause you just want something. And I think that's the and, problem with a lot of the girls. And that's, days. that's I don't, I don't want any of that. The closest that I got to getting married like when I thought that I was I've been engaged once and then I thought that I was gonna get married in 2019 mm-hmm. I did and the closest fuck that nigga Patrick actually now that we're back <laughs> on the podcast and I thought about it bitch and now we on video fuck that nigga Pat- burr, 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 fuck bitch Patrick. Fuck, 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 fuck Patrick fuck Patrick what a bitch ass nigga man whole ass nigga I hate Patrick I bet he got his finger in like a cow booty hole right now you know you're a real <laughs> doctor you're a fucking vet bitch anyway um, sorry, I got mad. But the times that I thought I was gonna get married, like my like friends and like cousins and people in my life started throwing that around. Like, oh marriage goals, marriage goals, marriage goals. And I'm like, this nigga's a nutcase. I get that a lot, and what I do feel like is because it's weird because I don't want to associate with the life of the wife, Twitter, life of the wife, Instagram. I feel like them bitches is fucking what? You are kind of like right on the cusp of like. But no, life, okay. So Twitter. I feel like what's different with me, like I love this nigga and I'll post that, great. But I'm not like this. Is what you got to do to get your man, bitch? This is my king. Because have, have you met men? Why have you met, have you met, you met, met never, men? I will never. I will never. Oh do my that god! Like I do nice things for this nigga, yeah, because he does nice things for me. But it's like it's always like serve your husband and obey, and it's girl go to. Hell. I'm not obeying nothing. First and of all, I feel like them type of bitches are now. I can respect Melanie now because she's in a relationship, but I feel like they treat me differently now, and that's fucking weird. Well, the I, I like want that. the hot bitch to have a man. Uh, flex is a real thing, and I did not. I learned that until I stopped being friends with like my last friend group. 
Because, like, bitches be wanting you to have a man because they don't want your hot single ass around their man. Is. And that's why churches are like that, too. Why they always having a singles event to try to get people paired up and partnered up because nobody wants the hot single bitch around their Did nigga. you see Juanita Bottom talking about people's legs greased up? That's a spirit, Juanita. You need to pray that off. You, you and Jackie Hill Perry because you go not, see the lady. Because it's not my fault that your husband is a that whore. and you like women and you you know what let me tell you something you bitches something about liking women on both ends number one you hoes out here doing three cents to keep your man you don't like pussy crazy ass girl stop eating pussy what's like, wrong you with you don't like women you don't you like to here. eat pussy stop doing it you're torturing yourself and he's gonna fuck this girl without you anyway. now you want to hang yourself from the fucking ceiling fan and just spin real fast <laughs> like fucking Kermit <laughs> <laughs> and then. because you don't like bitches Stop it. And on the other hand, some of you hoes like bitches. Why don't you like, look into it? Cause that's whether, why you're not having a good time. Whether you niggas. act on it or not, based on God, you send it anyway. So you may as well go on and do it because you're living in, in turmoil and you're If you're going to sin, sin right. Just go on and do it. Just go on and do it. According right? to God, the thought of it. Because you like that girl. You think her ass is bad. Go on and look. Go on and look. Just do it. Instead of whore, it, whore, whore shaming her. Whore and shaming your legs grease up. You big, sexy, thick old thighs. And the pill. Yeah, because it was almost like she was dirty talking a little bit. I was like, Juanita. Like, and then she's like, yeah, your thighs greased up. Am I supposed to be ashy in the church? And then he was like, oh, yeah, she right. She's not right. She's not we right. We need to focus on the adulterous past. There's so, and there's so much it. fucking, like, body shaming in the fucking church. Especially, like, thick shaming. Because... Our body types only recently, especially like, I would say like in like the 80s, really like 80s, early 90s, started being more acceptable to be this thick. Mm -hmm. We were considered fat, fat and got made. If I was white, I would be the fat girl. Right. We were considered fat same, and got made fun of back in the day. But now that it's sexy and now that it's popular and men are openly admitting that they like thick women and curvy women now that's just the biggest thing in the world it's the worst thing in the world to be thick in the church and now i got to go in the fucking assassin's creed outfit because <laughs> you don't you gotta have a dark poke of visibility on in the church house because the deacon gonna look he's looking i had anyway. to leave a church because a church mother put a prayer cloth on me for no reason i will never come back in here i'm sitting my ass is not out. My thighs are not out. She put a prayer cloth. This, this much of my leg was out. A prayer cloth. You can go to hell. And I'm going to be leaving. <laughs> they was good for them cloth with a little rose on the little top corner. Mm -hmm. Get that cloth from by me. Don't put this fucking prayer cloth on me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I swear to God. Get away from they me. They be so passive. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, they pop that bitch like a sheet. Too. <laughs> She's like, whore. <laughs> <laughs> Slap. <laughs> Here's your prayer cloth. I have on jeans. Like, ma'am, like, I don't know what you want from me. What? But that's why I'll be going. That's why I watch church on the internet now. And then I can't watch it. I watch church butt naked at the crib now. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. And, and I try to watch, and I, I'm very the same by Mike Todd, but I'd be distracted. Because when you have all the newest shoes, the shoes that even came out, you have them the cool grays, whatever space shoes out these days. The yes, hips. Fucking hips. And then you want to talk about the, the single woman. Let, let them girls be single. First of all, Mike Todd, it's your hips distracting everybody in church. <laughs> it's not the thick bitches. It's you. You the thick bitch. When we talking about distractions and pornography and temptations, you curvy as fuck. Okay, your body is too booty and the for us, baby. And then they lose, and then, then you want to talk about soul ties. Like now, now it's our fault again. You know what? My soul ain't tied to none of these niggas. Okay, don't talk to me like that. Cause they never talk to men about soul ties. That's, they never preach soul ties to men. And you know what? I'm a, the men that I be attracted to be sluts and whores. They ain't got that much soul for it to be broke up all they over the place <laughs> across Atlanta. They like, have like no a fucking soul. Horcrux. They don't have that much soul. For it to be in bits and pieces all up and down 20. They don't. So, you know what? Soul ties don't exist because men don't have souls. That's a bar. Yeah, that, that, that that, that's bar. the one. That's the one. You might have did it. We might have to put that on a t-shirt. You know what else doesn't have souls? Cats. Hate cats. I know that's random. I hate cats too. Fuck cats. They don't have souls cats either. Cats are awful. Um, but, um, but I don't have any marriage goals. But yeah, I'm like I, but yeah, I, you know, church, especially church and marriage, like they they sell these dreams to single women, and they know they so like like Pinky Promise. You remember Pinky Promise yes. and fucking Heather, what's her name, Lindsay? Yes, we and again, I, I'm churchy, so we had to sit in church and listen to her talk about obeying your husband and blah blah, blah and submission. And me and my mama looked at each other like, girl, and that's how I knew my mom was a real bitch because she raised me to be who this this. Mm -hmm. I never seen her like 
bow to my daddy or just like yes yes sir mike yeah, like no she did what she wanted to do she went to work she came home she took care of us she did she did what she was doing like that's how you do mama shit she was charlotte pickles mixed with claire huxtable that's beautiful that's my man i think the submission conversation is always interesting though because like in relationships like i don't think that i'm a submissive person by any means but i if a person is leading purely because i'm lazy if you're leading you're leading well like, yeah we have papa's dinner bet bet I don't have anything to say about it. But a lot of these men are like, oh, I need a submissive woman. What are we submitting to? You don't have no money. You don't have no communication or leadership skills. You're not charming. Where are we going? You're not that cute. When you're not that cute. You, 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 you look dusty. Where are we going with you I think leading? men just want that ego show because I'm a man. Rah, rah, rah. Listen to me, you woman bitch. And it's like, that's you not how this bitch. <laughs> that's not how this Let's shit move work, on. dog. Let's like, move men on. want you to just vouch the fact that a man, and that's really just it. They don't have any redeeming qualities. These bitches are like that too, though. That is too. That is true too. I'm the only gay on the pod now. Oh. Man, woo, I'm woo, by woo. myself. Woo, woo, woo. We only got a half gay on the pod now. What are we gonna do? I can't talk to you about things. I was like, fuck me. No, not fuck you. <laughs> no, no. no, I told you you were going to be a late in life gay. We talked about that. But that doesn't seem like yeah. fun to me. I don't feel like I want to do that. I, don't think I said late in life. I don't think I'm ever going to come to that relationship. I've thought about it. Like, oh. you, you might be a, a, a pillow princess. But even then, it's like, yeah. Everybody I'm looks like a Goldberg. Are you going to shave your fucking eyebrows off? What are you talking about? I mean, about? I have eyebrows now, but Whoopi never really had brows to begin with. Mm. I want to move on. Now I'm uncomfortable. I don't like thinking about Whoopi Goldberg's eyebrows. What if, what if Whoopi Goldberg chose on you at like the gay club? I'm okay. First of all, I, I am... So in relationships with men, I'm very like laid back and I kind of just like... I'm not saying men's thing. So that's... I don't care what you're talking about. But with women, I'm, I'm the captain now. Would you? I can't have no captain in a lady relationship. So you think Whoopi would be the captain? Oh, absolutely. Whoopi not about to be strapping me? No thanks. Oh my God. No. I just imagine Whoopi Goldberg with a strap on it and I no just want thanks. to die. Oh Whoopi my God. God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I, I'm sorry I brought no, it up. No, thanks. I'm sorry I brought it up. See what you did? So fucking gross. Not at the you think I'm about to let Whoopi Goldberg up in these guts? No, thanks. Stop saying that. Why did I pick this up? No, not this pussy. No, ma'am. I think, you know, mm-hmm. I can see you, like, showing up at, like, a view, like, the view red carpet, and, like, who's this young bitch with Whoopi? And it's like you. No, but you know who I would go somewhere with? Queen Latifah. That damn Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I have to be really drunk and it have to be an accident. And I wonder if she rap like, okay, when you fuck Queen Latifah and whatever you be like a sugar baby for, for mm-hmm. the stuff, Man, that's let me like know what she does her hair at night. Cause I, does she wrap it or does she get it redone? Because her hair is always done. And I've always appreciated that. Thank you, Dana, for like the laid hair. Um, you think she would put the braids in for me from Set It Off if I asked? I don't think she's gonna do the braids again. Baby. That's crazy. Let's move on because we're running. Oh, um, but yeah, married. Some people like okay. I think people get married so, like as something to check off their list, and they have no business getting married. And it's like, why are you wasting everybody's time? Um, I think at this point, and also I have a jaded view of marriage because I live in Atlanta. Yeah. Some of these marriages are just suggestions. <laughs> these are not even just like really yeah. like hard contracts. It's like I'd like for you to not sleep with other people, but they finna do it anyway. Which is because we about to talk about open marriages. Um, and then open marriages, and, and you sent me a meme the other day. What yes. did you say, friend? So the the this person tweeted. They said, um, whenever people tell me they're in an open marriage, I always wonder who came up with the idea and who is crying themselves to sleep at night and wants to die. <laughs> um, and that's very funny to me. Um, that's always how it is. Like, let's be open. Yeah. I want to fuck so and so and not feel bad about it. It's just like, bro, just go fuck. Well, when so. a lot of the times when men suggest open relationships. They mean just them. Just them. They yeah. don't really want you to be open. I saw this um, this post on Reddit once where the guy was like, I wanted to be in an open relationship because I liked my work wife and I wanted to start a relationship with my work wife, but then that relationship fizzled out, but my wife has decided she likes being open and she's fucking everybody because <laughs> she's so much hotter. <laughs> Okay, because she's so much hotter than me and she's a lady, so it's easier for her to fuck. And, it, yes, and it, yeah, yes. and it hasn't been as easy for me. If I ever get in that relationship, just, I'm going to freak Nick. Like, let, let me, it'll be open. Oh, okay, let's open this bitch then. I don't mind. So I want a layer in the middle because I have commitment issues, right? right? And I just, 
I just don't feel like because I love you and I want to spend my life with you that I should not be able to fuck somebody sure. else if I want to. So here's what I want. I don't want an open relationship. I don't want a monogamous relationship. I don't want sex to be a weapon in my relationship. Right. So if I meet somebody I want to fuck, I want to be able to do it without you trying to fucking murder me or leave me. And same for you. You know, I'm not the last bad bitch on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm not like, the it's, last. It's plenty fine bitches It's plenty out here. fine, funny bitches out here. And some of them might want to fuck you. Like, I... What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do about it? Yeah, I think I don't think no. I can really be in an open relationship. My, my petty in me, like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck everybody, then fuck you. And the other side, I'm like, I really just can't. I don't even do have that way. much pussy to be just be handing out no, like that. Like, I'm be tired. Like, uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm exhausted. Fuck all these like my nigga too. I'm be like, <sighs> I gotta go home and fuck this nigga now too. I gotta. Oh, fuck you. I don't want to do all that. But I don't want it to like be an issue. Like, yeah. of course, no husband, no boyfriend is gonna be like, oh, you fucked the dude. How was it? Like, it's not gonna be that. But just very much like, I know we not getting. Divorce if you fuck somebody else or if I fuck somebody else. But That's what I want. Like when, if a man cheats on you, he's like, you can work it out. It's okay. But if you cheat, bitch, I'm leaving. <laughs> like, wow. I why, tell dudes all the time. Work it out. Because most men, I'll bring up being in an open relationship and they'll be like, I'm not for that shit. I want to be monogamous. If you have forced me to do monogamy and you fucking cheat on me, I'm going to fuck your fucking dad. I swear to God. Because I told you that you could do what you want it because niggas just don't want you they just don't want me so if you put me in the me box you didn't take another dicks and then you cheat on me it's supposed to be a fuck fest i'm fucking because it, 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 it's, fucking it's too much like me. right to open it up and give you you know your own agency to do what the fuck you want to do they want to control and they want to have the fun uh i'm fucking this bitch huh? she doesn't know huh? it's a thrill. now you done got this bitch murdered because you a liar now i got a case babies ain't got no mama <laughs> and babies ain't got no daddy either because I killed you my baby an orphan <laughs> and some people like now the new kids like you know the millennials we don't want kids now people don't understand that people just don't get us and I feel like I don't want no kids in a plague as much as I want babies I don't want no kids in a fucking no, plague no that is true and kids are a plague as well because they mm, so mommy. fucking oh, I hate it oh my god um, one of my favorite episodes of the Bernie Mac show mm -hmm. is um when, when they got sick of the birthday party. Yeah. And it's like germs. Yeah. More germs. Mm -hmm. Germs. And uh, when he was in his hazmat suit, he's like, America. America. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's wrap up with proposals real quick. Dream proposal. And what is your, would be your nightmare pro proposal? Go. Nightmare proposal. Baby shower. Hate it. Don't do it. Dream proposal. Anybody's baby shower or you're pregnant? My, I'm pregnant. So not only am I pregnant, we not married, but you're going to take this time when there's fucking diapers everywhere to propose to me. Don't don't go on and marry me. Don't do right don't by me. Don't go on and marry me. My marry me because you want to. I have this conversation with that boy all the time. Hey, you like me? Are we getting married? Don't, don't do this because you think. Because like I said, we don't even know this baby yet. This might not even be a good baby. It, it may not even be yours. My mama. What if this baby not even yours? You know what I'm saying? Now you, you done married me. <laughs> now you done married me. You should have waited right. to the baby. So you saw the baby. The baby don't look like you. Don't propose. Anyway, but dream proposal, I, I have something, something with Johnny Gill, something with Robert Downey Jr. Or recreating the scene from Love Jones. Yes, I'm head ass. Yeah, with like, are. hey, baby, can I be your slave? And then marry me. Can I be your slave? Anyway. Um, you know the, the poem. Uh, yeah, I get it. Um, the funk in your foot. I've seen it. Funk um, in your left eye. No. Uh, the you, groupie, you, left whatever the fuck. You we know. know. Um, um, so my nightmare proposal would just be like, you didn't talk to me and I don't want to marry you. Now I have to embarrass you. That's my nightmare proposal. Like, if you aren't sure, you're not gonna because you're not going you're not gonna big gesture me into marrying you. I'll I'll make it. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna cause a scene. Um, especially if I feel like you're trying to make me marry you because you knew I would say no in private. Right. Um, and then my dream proposal. If I had my druthers, Beyonce would be there, but that's probably not gonna happen because Beyonce doesn't think about me. Um, I like a lot of flowers. So just like orchids and cherry Faded pictures in a pro. Was that video? Was that the one? Sure. Um, and cherry blossoms and orchids and roses everywhere. That would be beautiful for me. And also a lot of champagne. I want to get immediately drunk so we can go fuck right after. Like hand, after the ring, hand me some champagne. And probably a pill. I'll probably do a pill tonight I get proposed to. Yeah. Okay. Let's make it weird. Well, okay. We're going to head out because, you know, I know the episode is short, y'all. Again, transitioning. We're doing our best. We're doing our fucking best. Yes. Um, we're doing what we can. And we're going to get out of here. We're going to talk your ears off some more once we get the more stable shit. And thank y'all for listening. Um, yeah. Live tweets. Send us y'all business. Still, yes. still email us and do email all us the things. Email us and don't act funny. Y'all harass us. Fucking talk to us. And we're trying, bitch. Bitch. Love you. Bye. Bye. Good job.